Hey guys, Alexander here. In the previous video, where we derived the maximum likelihood estimators and estimates of the gamma distribution, we arrived at the following equations. Firstly, we derived that lambda hat, which is the maximum likelihood estimate of the rate parameter, is equal to alpha hat over x bar. But when we try to go and take the partial derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to alpha hat, we arrived at this equation. And we couldn't simplify it any further because we needed to go and solve for alpha hat. And this function is not something that we can easily do by hand. So that's where we ended the last video. And you notice that maxi the maximum likelihood of the rate parameter, though we have such a simple equation for it, we don't know what alpha hat is. So we need to solve for alpha hat. And, we, and how we will do this will be shown to you in this video. This video will provide you with an R script that shows how we actually write this whole equation as a function, and then we go solve for where it is equal to zero using the unit root function in R. We will also be making use of, of drawing curves of this function so that we can actually observe its behavior and where it will intersect the x-axis. So pay attention and enjoy the video. So the problem of the, how to solve for alpha hat is relatively simple if we can use a programming language. And the one that we will be using to solve this problem is the R programming language. Firstly, we need to ensure that we have the stats library installed so that we can make use of the R gamma function. And we need to set a random seed. We're setting this seed so that you guys, if you go and practice using this code, you will see that your results produced are the same as mine because we're carrying out random sampling. We're generating random values. So the sample data is said to be a random sample from a gamma distribution with a shape parameter of 2, a rate parameter of 0 0.2, and 1,000 observations, or 1,000 samples are taken from that gamma distributed random variable. So then what we need is we need x bar. We need the sample mean from the simulated data. So x bar is said to be the mean of the sample data. And the value of x bar is 9.92. Now it's important to note that if x followed the gamma distribution, the shape parameter of 2 and the right parameter of 0 0.2, 0 0.2, then the expected value of x would have been equal to 2 over 0 0.2, so alpha over lambda, and in this case it would have been equal to 10. As we can see here, since we're sampling from the distribution, we're going to be a bit different from that value of 10, and our mean is in fact now 9.926. But that's close enough for the purpose for us, for sampling and making inference. Next, what we need is we will need to take the natural logarithm of each of the values in the sample data. So firstly, we take the natural log of the sample data, and then let's just have a look at the heads of those, uh, the first um, six results from that uh, natural logarithm of the sample data. And we see that these are the values that we have over here. And the reason we need X bar and we need the um, log of the sample data is because we are interested in the term ln of X bar, which is the natural logarithm of x bar. So we have gotten x bar already here. And we also need the term, the natural logarithm x bar. So the mean of the natural logarithms of x. That's why we are getting the natural logarithm of x so that we can go and calculate the means of the natural logarithms of our sample data. And then these values we will use and plug into the equation that we have that we have derived in the previous video and the one that I showed to you at the beginning of this video. So after we have taken the, log, the natural logarithm of the sample data, we need to get that, the mean of those natural logarithms. And that value is 2.036036. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go and define a function f. And this function as you see over here, 
corresponds exactly to the function that we derived for the partial derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to alpha. So this is the same as the ln of the ln of alpha hat minus the di gamma function of alpha hat subtracted by the natural logarithm of x bar and we need to go and add the bar of the natural logarithm logarithm of x. So this is the function that we're defining over here so we can go and solve and find where it is equal to zero. So we need to go find where that function intersects with the x-axis or where y is equal to zero, where this function is equal to zero. So to do that, we define the function f and then what we go and do is we plot those curves. So we've defined the function f, so now let's plot a curve from zero to five. And as we see over here, if we add a horizontal line at y equals zero, what we can see is that there should roughly be an intersection at around x equals to two. So let's narrow down the graph so that we can have a nicer, a nicer curve being plotted. Let's add a horizontal line again at y equals zero. And we can see here that the intersection occurs roughly just beyond two. So let's further narrow it down so that we can have a very nice picture of where it is occurring. And now we can see that it's in the neighborhood of two to 2.2. But this will make our life easier because then we can narrow down the, the where we need to go call the limits or the unit root function for which it will go check if, if the function has intersected with the x-axis. So we will use the unit root function to find where the derivative is, um, where this derivative that we do, this function f is equal to zero, where it intersects with the x-axis. So we set that value to be a, and a has these following um, uh, attributes. So it has the root, it has the f of the root, number of iterations, uh, initial iteration, and all of these other variables. But we are only interested in the root. So alpha hat is then going to be set equal to the root. So we're interested in alpha hat. And we find that alpha hat is 2.80856. And in the beginning, we said that x follows the gamma distribution with a shape parameter of 2 and a right parameter of 0 0.2. So we've got an estimated value, the maximum likelihood estimate alpha hat. We found it equal to be 2. 080856, which is relatively close to 2. So we see that, we, that that value that we derived is actually useful and it can actually get us an estimate that is decently close to the, to the, um, to the, to the value of the shape parameter. And of course, if we use a larger sample size, if we take, go from 1,000 to 10,000 to 100,000, we will get closer and closer to that value. But this is just to show you the power of sampling and why we do maximum likelihood estimation. Lastly, we will go and work out um, lambda hat. So lambda hat we found is equal to alpha hat divided by x bar. Now that we have the value of alpha hat of 2.0 080856, we can find lambda hat, and then lambda hat is equal to 0 0.2096. Let me continue on drawing over here. So lambda hat is equal to alpha hat over x bar, and alpha hat is 2.080856, and x bar value we found before. So we've now found that lambda hat is equal to 0.2096357. So we can see that this is roughly equal to 0.2. So it's close in, it's quite close. It's roughly 0.21, and this is roughly 2.1. So we were able to carry out estimates of the parameters of the population, um, population values of 2 and 0.2 by using the maximum likelihood estimation, estimates. And clearly, we've seen now that we derived results using our hands, using um, uh, 
our knowledge of derivatives and of the probability density functions of the gamma distribution. And now we actually did something applicable. We used the R programming language, we used what our results, and we used it on a real sample of data. So I hope this video has helped you understand maximum likelihood estimation better. It has given you, hopefully given you a proper example of actually seeing why am I doing what I'm doing. I'm actually doing it so that I can generate estimates of the population parameters because I'm sampling from a population. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Poor Commander out.